All right, guys, we are about to start working on another sculpture. And this one might be a little bit different. And it is going to involve a lot of engineering on my part. So I am using grog clay, the grog clay that I did buy. And it's a pretty decent clay. I am using reference from Female Anatomy uh, for Artists.com. And this is kind of like a kneeling pose, but not quite. She has her feet on the ground, but I have to figure out a way to support the entire weight of the figure. And it's very difficult. So that's the feet right now. I'm just adding the feet and what I'm putting in the middle is not anything other than a support. So uh, generally I like to cut things but since I'm kind of like thinking through the pose, it makes it a little bit more difficult to do it this way. I could have done it by just cutting like the limbs and shaped them in very like square fashions, but I wasn't quite sure where I was going with this. At this point, I'm using the sticks to kind of help me prop up the sculpture. This is, it just adds some of the rigidity while I'm working. But right now, that is the the buttocks that I'm like currently sculpting and I am connecting it I guess you can say a seat of some kind but it's just a way of holding the figure up this model is also a little bit on the plus side so that's going to be another complex thing because when you are dealing with the human body and they're kind of just supporting themselves on very tiny little feet and they have a lot of weight then it's a very complex sort of sculpture but this is going to be a little bit of a trial and error sort of thing. You can see I have my computer up on the shelf and I'm using it for reference. So I'll be putting more and more clay and what tends to happen with this sort of clay is that it tends to co start coming down a little bit. And also I've noticed that grog clay like this, it um, tends to like get dry a little bit too fast so you have to constantly be adding water so that's the legs right there it's going to be difficult sculpting the inside of the thighs and the chest so I need to indicate exactly where the bones are so a lot of times when I'm sculpting you want to kind of figure out where the bones are what are the bones doing here I can notice that I have an issue with the lower legs. I made them too straight and actually like her legs are directly underneath her buttocks so that means that her bottom needs to come forward a lot more and also you have to kind of figure out the spread of the legs. Are you going to spread the legs out a little bit or are you going to keep them close together? I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So that is the separation of the halves right there. You can kind of start to see a little bit of what is taking shape. The sticks are there just to kind of help me prop it up. I've done this quite a bit when I've been sculpting in clay without armatures and it tends to work out. So as I keep adding clay I do notice that my the abs need to be a lot thicker and because she is also in the pose she's going to have both her hands on the ground so she has a forward lean and she has her palms flat on the floor which are very interesting but it adds a lot of the complexities to this sculpture. So at this point I'm actually making it a little bit too thick but you know one of the problems I did in the last kneeling pose was that I made the sculpture too thin and too small so it kind of looks like a mini statuette and I think I like sculptures to be a certain size and I'm not trying to do like life-size sculptures but it is nice to have the ability to do sculptures that are a little bit large especially when you're using water clay water clay is cheap you know like uh, I got think I got two complete boxes of this clay for about sixty dollars so it's about thirty something dollars 
per box, which equals 50 pounds per box. So I got, you know, 100 pounds. So that's a, a pretty decent amount. It is heavy. The clay is heavy. And towards the end of the sculpture, it's probably going to weigh a lot. And that is one of the reasons I tell people that you need to scoop out the inside. Not only scooping out the inside will help you fire, but also it'll keep the weight lower. So let's say you finish this, you want to put it up on the top shelf, it'll be easy enough to put. So at this point, I am kind of figuring out a little bit of the sizing issues. I made her torso a little bit too big. She kind of looks like a frog at this point. And that is the arm that I'm adding right now. I'm adding the, the right arm. And once you start to see a little bit of what's happening with the, the front torso, it'll start to make a whole lot more sense. So it, it is developing as a sculpture. I don't have a lot of the anatomy because one of the things that I'm doing is that it is very difficult to work on any sort of like anatomy if you're struggling with the engineering part of sculpture. And it's always important to learn a little bit about engineering because the, the human body is very well engineered just to think about how we put our weight on two little feet, especially like somebody that's over 200 pounds. It's kind of insane. But this model, she's a little bit on the heavier side, which that's the reason I picked her because sometimes models with a lot of fat tend to be very interesting to sculpt because they have all of these additional things. And it's always like the, uh, but I'm, I'm more drawn to athletic builds, but I think sometimes it's fun to sculpt somebody that's a little bit on the morbidly obese sort of scale. So at this point, you can see that I added more and more clay to where she's sitting. You know, at the end, we're not going to be having that in there. We're going to replace it with something. And I already have a theme in mind that I want to do. So now I am putting in a little bit of her head. I'm starting to like figure out where her chest is. And I'm constantly like pushing the clay up. Because one of the things that happens with this sort of stuff is that the clay starts to sink in quite a bit as you're sculpting. So this is kind of like just a preliminary sculpture, preliminary um, uh, basic sculpting that I'm doing, and I am using reference. I tend to do everything with reference, even like when I was doing the Hellboy, I had like 20 photos, I'm, I was looking at it. and. Stay tuned because I will be doing more of these. Um, and if you have any suggestions, post up in the comments below. Uh, I've been noticing that people are not really interested in the, the mold making stuff that I was doing, but I'm mostly doing in case you want to learn from my mistakes. You know, I'm not a professional sculptor. I'm not a professional mold maker. But I kind of like to share these things with uh, people if they're interested in doing it. So this is going to be a learning process. And for me, I want to get better at sculpting. So I'm really trying hard to, to get better. And I can get better if you guys give me some suggestions. If you see something that is wrong, I'll uh, gladly, gladly look at it. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you like what you see please hit that like button and the subscribe button it really helps with the motivation uh thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in the next video